Hey, this is Chris Schultz from the CFL on TSN, and you are going inside the Grey Cup. Hello, friends. I'm Gino Retta, host of TSN's Molson That's Hockey, and you're going inside the Grey Cup. Welcome to the final edition of Inside the Grey Cup. With the Saskatchewan Rough Riders, the 07 champs, it's now time for Toronto to pass over to the torch to Montreal for the 2008 Coupe de Grey. That's not the only thing changing this year, because with over 50 years of CBC broadcasting the Grey Cup, it's now time for Canada sports leader TSN to take over all CFL games, including the Grey Cup. So let's take a look at what that means for you, CFL fans, and all the boys and girls here at TSN. TSN, home of the CFL. It's funny because we're not looking at it as our last game. We look at this as being our great cup. They're a tough act to follow, but we're really looking forward to it and we're excited about the fact that we're doing a Canadian institution every, every Sunday in late November for the next five or six years. We can't lose. We wrote the quarter. We're the champion. That's all I got to say. This is a, a huge uh, landmark moment in the history of TSN. Uh, to be able to broadcast the great cup which is the single day largest television event in the country is, is massive. It's probably the biggest event that TSN has ever had. For Eddie Brown, what a catch! One of the key acquisitions for TSN uh, was Chris Cuthbert. He is the most prepared and most professional guy and, and just allowed us, um, you know, from a broadcast standpoint, uh, certainly on CFL, to go to another level. He was a defensive player for the month of September with eight sacks. The last one. Second and ten from the 16. Curious into the end zone. And what a catch! Jason Claremont! We're excited about the opportunity to do the Great Cup again. I, I'm really excited for, for my teammates because I, I've had the opportunity, Glenn Suter's had the opportunity to, to work on Great Cups before, but we've got a we've got a lot of people behind the scenes in our panel who have uh, done such a great job, I think, broadcasting the Canadian Football League for uh, for the past decade. Now they're gonna get their chance. Everybody to a man on the crew, whether it's the statistician or the play-by-play -play guy or anybody in between, we all have an unbelievable passion for the game. We're all die-hard CFL fans. We have the fortunate position of being a 24-hour sports network where our focus is sports. We don't have to focus on getting off to get to a, the national news or anything like that per se. Our, we're, we are 100% sports all the time. And that's, that's a huge advantage for the, for the fan at home. In terms of number of cameras, facilities, uh, you know, potential viewing audience, uh, there's no show from a director standpoint, let alone a sports director standpoint, that is as big as Grey Cup Sunday. With the new network covering the Grey Cup, we can anticipate a brand new way on how it will be run. It'll be very interesting to see how things will be done differently. That's it for us here from Toronto, and I hope to see you in Montreal for La Coupe Grey de Milouis. Montreal 2000.